All right, in this next exercise, uh, the instructions say, drag a PNG cutout tree into the file as a reference, use the replace object script to replace cylinders with the reference, and then use the face camera plugin to change the orientation of the trees according to your view. So what this exercise is all about is using um, other assets and plugins and scripts to assist us in the modeling process. So one thing that um, not many people know about Rhino is that you can just drag and drop PNGs into the file. And I'm going to uh, use a downloaded tree. I just downloaded this from our Moreau board um, where we have a cutout library easily accessible to us. So if we go down here to the cutout share, there's a whole bunch of PNG assets and I've just downloaded one of these trees, this one right here, and I'm going to drag and drop it into my Rhino file. So when we uh, drag and drop it, we can bring it in as a picture. And then I just need to um, drag it up to a particular size that I want to use. So I'm just gonna drag it up here like this. And you can see that it shows up as a um, transparent PNG. And now we can use this as a reference all over our models. So I'm just going to rotate it so that it's vertical um, using my gumball. And I will uh, move this using the move command I'm just gonna select somewhere near the trunk and place it into um, onto one of these little cylinders on the site. So I'll use my gumball to just drag this kind of more into the center of this uh, cylinder so it's uh, located there. And um, what we want to do now is use a plugin called Replace Object, which is a Python script. And unfortunately for Mac users, you won't be able to use this as uh, you are not able to use Rhino scripts in your program. Uh, but for everybody who's using Windows, uh, you can keep going with this part of the exercise. What the replace object script does is allows us to set a uh, base um, object, which is this tree located on the cylinder. And then we're going to select the rest of the cylinders and um, replace them with this PNG tree so that we end up with kind of a forest of trees here. And it takes a little bit of getting used to um, these commands, but uh, they can be really helpful as we're modeling to increase our efficiency and um, reduce the amount of copying and pasting that we're doing on a site, especially if you have a really large site with a lot of trees and you don't want to have to copy and paste every tree individually on the site. So let's go ahead and run the script. What we're going to do is type in run Python script into our command line and that will ask you to locate the script. For you, it's located in your Rhino folder under plugins and then you see this script down here, replace object.py. I'm going to open it up and it's going to say select the first object to replace. So the first object that we want to replace is this little cylinder here which is underneath the tree that we have. So I'm just going to click that and it quickly selects it and then it says now select the other objects to replace. So I'm going to select all of the rest of the cylinders on this plane, press enter. Then it asks for the replacement objects and what I want to do is replace all of these cylinders with this PNG tree. So I'll just click on this tree and press enter. And you see that now this entire plane is populated with these PNG trees. So all of these trees are oriented towards the um, front direction, the front of the camera, because that's the way that they were brought into this file. Um, in SketchUp, we have what are called face me components, which follow the camera as you rotate around them. But in Rhino, we don't have that functionality. So if we want to change the orientation of these PNG um, files, we need to actually use a plugin. So you can go into your plugins folder within your references. And there's one called face camera. You can just drag and drop that right into your Rhino file and it will load automatically. So in order to use this, you use a command called face camera. So let's say you were um, wanting to create a view over here and you wanted to orient the trees to your view. You would type in face camera and the command comes up like that. Select all of the surfaces you want to orient towards you and press enter. And then this command automatically orients them towards the camera that is looking at them. So again, if I was gonna take a view over here and I need to reorient that camera, then I would run that command again. 
If you're wondering where you can find plugins like this, they are often located on a few websites. One is um, Food for Rhino, which is a site where uh, lots of different plugins and extra bits for Rhino are located. So you can always do a search here or just kind of browse through the applications and see um, what people have come up with. Uh, you can also find a link to these Rhino plugins uh, within this video. These were put together by um, one of the Rhino administrators. So within this uh, McNeil wiki, you can see there are scripted utilities for Rhino and there's a whole bunch of different um, scripts and plugins that this person has put together for download. And they're really quite useful. I have quite a few of them in your plugins folder.